Hello Libra, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your July 2022 general reading. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I am truly grateful for each and every one of you. So I am posting this reading a little bit early, so if you catch it before the very beginning of July, on the 28th or and the 29th of June, depending on what time zone you're in, we've got a new moon in Cancer. So new moons, of course, are a great time to start new things, to try something different, to set intentions for manifestation, a little bit of extra moon energy there. Um, and But this new moon carries with it a healing element. Okay, so there may be something... Uh, you know, something that you need to release, let go of, maybe even forgive. All right. Um, this new moon is flavored uh, with you. You might find your you might find your uh, uh, struggling to keep some focus because you may be pulled in a couple of different directions. We have a really wonderful connection between Venus and um, Jupiter. So this is a lot of love in the air, Venus, planet of love, um, you know, Jupiter, expansion, growth. So there's a lot of great positive energy. And if you're focused on positive, if you're focused on um, making improvements, okay, or you're focused on solutions, then you'll have an easier time with this energy. But we do have, uh, whew, we do have some powerful connection there between Mars and Pluto, so there may be some anger, some frustration, some negative thoughts or feelings that may come to the surface for you. And this is where the healing element comes in. Okay, so if you are feeling that way, then maybe it's something that you've been ignoring or that's been hidden for a while. And as humans, of course, we always have things to, um, you know, to release, to let go of, because what do we end up doing? We create more blocks for ourselves because that's just what we do as humans. Okay, so, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of balance is needed, some grounding, and just maybe be very mindful to keep your thoughts and feelings positive there the middle of the month. We have a super full moon in Capricorn. This is very close to Pluto, so the energy may feel a little bit like an eclipse. It's not an eclipse, but it may feel that intense. Okay, so just tread a little bit lightly there, okay? And then, of course, we've got new moon um, towards the end of July, 28th, 29th, and this is in Leo. Very, very fiery. Watch your words because we do have a clash between Mercury and Uranus, okay? So uh, just be a little bit cautious with communication there. But let's see what we've got coming out for you. Beautiful. We have the magician in the mirror. So be mindful of your thoughts and feelings here, folks, because you are a powerful magician. When we have the mirror, uh, magician in the mirror, this is really all about you. You are the alchemist of your own life. Spiritual alchemy, okay, turning uh, your visions into reality, okay? Remember all of this magic that lies within you, okay? And, you know, when we get this, when we get this energy, we are always constantly manifesting things into our world, whether we're making a conscious effort at it or whether it's something behind the scenes that we're not really thinking of. Um, because wherever we do put our energy and our attention is what blossoms and grows in our world. So it is very important to you know, try and focus on what we want to attract in, try and focus on what we want in our world. What do you want to create more of? Okay. And focus on that. And quite often we focus a little bit too much on what we don't want. And if we focus and we put our energy and attention to what we don't want, that's what we're going to get more of. So the magician is really just that reminder of that, okay? The alchemist of your own life. What do you want to attract? Okay, where do you want to put your focus, all right? Make uh, make sure that it's on something very, very positive, okay? Believe in yourself. I also feel through the month of July here with the magician energy that you're going to be quite resourceful. If you don't have the information, I think you're going to take steps to go out and seek it, okay? If you uh, have are feeling kind of blocked or stuck, you may do a little bit of research or some meditation to figure out where the issues lie. And then I think you're going to take action there to try and clear those out. So uh, you really are uh, creating a lot of wonderful magic um, around you. Okay, so believe in your own skills and abilities. We've got the thinking woman here. So uh, with the thinking woman, this could this could possibly be you. 
Okay, perhaps you're thinking about the future, you're making some plans, okay, you could even be expanding your mind a little bit here as well, perhaps there's something uh, that you're going to learn about, perhaps there's something that you want to study, you may end up going back to school, but maybe there's just something that you want to learn about on your own, right, you know, you might be watching TV one day and see something on the TV and go, hey, you know what, that's actually really kind of cool. I think I want to learn a little bit more about that. And the next thing you know, you're doing some research, you're uh, surfing the internet, and maybe then you're buying a book and, you know, you may just get kind of uh, really knee deep and passionate about something that you never thought you would. We're always expanding, we're always growing. Okay, so you may be um, expanding your mindset in some way. But the thinking woman can also be a person that does uh, come into your world in the month of July. Now, this could be somebody that you already know, but it can also be somebody new. Okay, it can be someone in your personal life, someone in your work life. Okay, this is a general read. This is not geared to your career or your love life or anything like that. So this could um, just be um, a person in your world that uh, has some uh, support for you. Okay, they have some really good advice for you, or perhaps they are someone who is very smart, very cerebral. Maybe they teach you something. Okay, this can be someone new or someone that you already do know. So if you are thinking of learning something, going back to school, this could be like a professor, okay, in your world. All right, but it doesn't have to be anything like that. It can just be somebody who has a lot of knowledge, probably a lot of knowledge about a whole bunch of different things. Okay, and uh, but whatever this is, person who could maybe you could bounce some ideas off of maybe they have some advice for you okay and it's most likely a woman or it can be someone in with a very feminine energy but let's see what else we've got the energy coming in we've got the fool so a great time for you to start new things try new uh new uh adventures okay read a book uh learn new subjects whatever that is the fool is al always about um a new sense of adventure you may be feeling a little bit spontaneous through the month ahead uh, maybe even excited about something here okay so there may be something that you're really um gung-ho about you've got your heart set on so whatever new beginnings that you may have on the horizon the fool can also also represent the next stage, the next, um, the next level of something here as well. So you may be leveling up at some um, on something in your month ahead. Okay, perhaps a leveling up in your relationship. Okay, maybe something in your workplace, or maybe just you. You're just feeling good. You're just feeling like you've got a spring in your step. Um, the fool does like uh, adventure. So perhaps you are doing a little bit of traveling or, you know, even if it's something like a tourist in your own town, okay, maybe you're just getting out and you're having some fun, you're spreading some wings and you're flying. It may involve a friend because uh, the fool uh, usually does have a dog with him This uh, in this particular deck. He's got a crocodile and a crow, okay? So um, companionship, though, does come out with the fool energy as well. Just getting out there, having fun, living your best life, okay? Very uh, positive energy. Maybe you'll get to spend some time with with some friends and some important people in your world. So, um, but there may be something here where you might need to get out of your comfort zone a little bit and the fool is helping you do that, giving you a good old little push out the door. Um, and uh, you may just need to throw a little bit of caution to the wind, uh, so to speak, okay? Just trust yourself that you're on the right path. Take the, take the next steps forward with things in your world, okay? But there may be something with here where you just need to jump right in with both feet. It'll take a leap of faith, if you will, okay, in some area. Just, you know what, just go for it, okay? So we do have a challenge coming in for you as the Seven of Pentacles. So for some of you here, patience may be a virtue and it also may be a challenge for you a little bit, okay? The Seven of Pentacles does bring in an energy of calm and patience. It brings in some reflection here, okay? And sometimes, you know, we do look at the Seven of Pentacles. It's where we take a step back. And we take a step back and we take stock of our situation, okay? Whether it's where you are in life in general, where you are as a person, um, where you are in your knowledge, your skills, uh, your career path, your relationships, okay? It's where we just, it's, uh, we just kind of take a pause a little bit and we just kind of assess. We take a good overview of our situations and we see where we are. So part of the challenge here may be that you might feel in some area that you haven't attained the success that you are looking for. You haven't hit your goals. Okay. Now it could be that maybe you need a maybe you need to do something a little bit different. Maybe you need to change what you're doing. Okay. Or it could just be that patience may be very much the key for you. Okay. You might be on the right track. You might not be on the right track anymore. But that Seven of Pentacles is where sometimes we do look at our situation. We're like, okay, you know what? I'm going to cash out. Okay. So perhaps you may have some 
financial things that come up and you're looking at your savings account, the seven of pentacles, right? You're looking at your savings account, what you've saved, what you've invested in so far, and you're trying to make a decision. Maybe do I spend it? Can I afford to do that? Okay. Or do I still need to keep saving for something? But you may also be feeling as though you haven't quite gotten where you want to because the seven of pentacles can be success unfulfilled. So perhaps there is an area of your life and this is creating a challenge for you of some kind. Okay, probably not a huge challenge, but a little bit of one. And you might just be thinking, okay, I'm not where I want to be. What do I need to do different? Am I on the right track still? Do I just need to keep on going? Or do I need to make some big changes here somewhere? Okay, maybe there's just some information that you need. Maybe there's some advice that you need going forward. So part of the challenges in the month ahead may be the, um, uh, the patience or the ability to step back and assess Okay, and sometimes we take that practical approach, right? We assess our situation and then we figure out our next steps. We devise a strategy. Okay, so maybe there's with the fool energy there with that seven of pentacles, there may be something that you're really excited about. And yes, you do maybe just want to jump right into it, but there may be a need to assess the situation first and just make sure you have all the information um, that you can get before you do jump forward. Okay, it can also be that you're feeling a little bit impulsive in the month ahead here as well okay especially with kind of uh you know taking a step back maybe a little bit of a challenge for you okay and if you are feeling a little bit impulsive all right um you know at least trust your intuition okay um sometimes you know we you know sometimes we just know that we should or shouldn't do something and then we ignore um our inner instincts there okay and sometimes that's where we kind of look back and we're like oh crap i knew i should have kind of thought that through a little bit more Okay, so there may be something that you do need to think through a little bit before you take that big old leap. Okay, so that seven of pentacles is there. But if you're not feeling um, fulfilled in an area of your life, this is a great, um, a great energy, very supportive to start to try something new, infuse fresh life into something. Just because you might, you're not fulfilled in something or you don't have everything that um, you're looking for doesn't mean you have to abandon something. Okay, it can just be that you might want to try a different approach, be a little bit innovative. Advice from Spirit, the King of Cups, follow your heart. Okay, King of Cups is an energy of um, maturity. Okay, it is one of diplomacy as well. So perhaps you have to be a little bit diplomatic or a little bit patient. Okay, in an area of your world. All right, the King of Cups, though, is all about taking the lead, leading with your heart and your emotions. So there may be something here where there may be love and romance on the table and you just need to, maybe there's new love and romance for some of you here. Like I said earlier, it's not a love reading. Okay. But Hey, there certainly could be so, um, but the King of Cups is where we kind of, uh, you know, keep an open mind a little bit and we do things that we love. It's your time to really step up to the plate here, to let your inner light shine, to take the lead, to take the next steps forward, to follow your heart, to do what makes you happy to follow your bliss your goals your dreams okay so whatever that is is your heart is really going to lead you is really going to show you the path forward whether it's connections new people perhaps there's a career path that's not fulfilling for you right now maybe you're looking for a little bit of a change okay and happiness and um, happiness and joy are certainly uh, leading the way forward for you there may also be here spirits really wanting you to um, ground your energy and connect with your higher self as well we do have the magician in the mirror there right you know um, and so it feels like here in this king of cups energy that there may be some spiritual transformations for you in the month of July as well Okay, and this fool energy is you taking things up to the next level, right? And, you know, sometimes when we do level up in our spiritual selves, we kind of feel um, like a new person a little bit. Okay, so there may be some spiritual growth for you there as well. All right, so, um, but ultimately the King of Cups, there's creativity that comes in here. So again, maybe you need to take a creative approach at something in the month ahead. Okay, but, um, you know, but also patience and diplomacy and kindness will really lead you through the month ahead. Um, 
patience, diplomacy, and kindness for yourself, but also towards others as well. Sometimes we beat ourselves up the seven of pentacles, right? If you're not where you want to be, okay, don't beat yourself up for it. Okay. Listen to your heart, listen to your soul. All right. And see what it is that you, you know, where, where are you being led? Are you being, uh, you know, led, are you being reassured that you're on the right track? Okay. Are you being led down a different path? Okay, um, so really listen to your heart, your soul, your higher self. Meditation would be very great for you um, in the month ahead as well. And there's a healing energy that is coming here also. Blessings headed your way, the Eight of Cups, leaving something behind to find something more magnificent, more wonderful. The Eight of Cups is where we do detach from our current situation and we take the next steps forward. We don't always know where we're going. We don't always know what else, what lies ahead. All we know is that sometimes it's better than where we are right now. So there may be something in your month ahead here. Your blessing is either stepping things up a notch, okay, taking things to new heights to the next level. All right, and we do have that fool energy that supports that. We've got the king of cups. So maybe there's a higher level of commitment available for you in an area of your life. There may even be some blessings and some wishes and some goal attainment coming here as well. All right, and it just requires you to take the next steps because the eight of cups can be walking away, but it can also be taking things to the next level, right? Um, we detach from our current our current um level and then we level up a notch okay so you could be very well on your path to having a wish fulfilled okay a dream come true all right but um there may be something here that you just need to do to take it up to the next level right and if you do think about relationships okay and i mean if you're just kind of like in let's say a dating phase right and then you're gonna level up to you know saying i love you for the first time right we are detaching from where we are now and we are improving our situation but of course, part of the blessings with the Eight of Cups may be that you are, with the Seven of Pentacles, if you are not feeling fulfilled where you are right now, the Eight of Cups, right? There's nothing really wrong with your situation, but maybe it's just not doing it for you. You're just not feeling it, okay? You're just not where you want to be. Perhaps there was something, you know, whether it's a relationship, a situation, an environment, okay, or something within you where... You know, you're evolving and you're growing. And sometimes when we are in that energy, the people or situations around us no longer fit, right? So we do outgrow things because we are evolving. So perhaps there is a blessing for you by detaching from something in your world and finding something new, okay? Or maybe even just taking a different approach at something, right? You're the Eight of Cups. You could have been on a certain trajectory and to really get things done or to really get things moving and shaking, you gotta take a fresh approach at things. And that's where that fool uh, really does come in. Your overall outcome is success. We've got the Emperor energy coming out here for you. So some Aries influence there. But the Emperor is, uh, stability, a sense of security, okay, a good, strong, solid foundation, but the emperor is really you rising to the challenge, okay, um, embracing your inner strength, your inner power here, um, taking charge, taking the lead, taking control, and this brings in an element of success, okay, you're very much in the driver's seat, um, you know, so if anyone uh, if there are situations that aren't fulfilling for you, I think you're going to figure out a different way, a different plan, um, a different kind of strategy. You're going to take an alternate approach at things, okay? This can also just be you really knuckling down with where you are right now and infusing fresh life into something to get where you want to be. Okay, so that emperor, you know, that emperor knows when to take a step back and when to assess the situation and also when to take action and charge forward. So you do have an energy there of um, of discernment that comes in there with that emperor, right? You don't get to rule a whole empire by just charging ahead willy nilly and sticking to your guns no matter what, right? There's always a course of um, a different course of action that may be required, right? So you may have a little bit of foresight in the month ahead there as well, all right? But the emperor energy can also be um, you know, getting some advice. The emperor may be somebody in your world that is very um, in a position of authority, in a position of wisdom, strength. Maybe this is somebody, uh, the emperor is quite often like um, a boss energy, um, you know, a leader of a household, right? Like a patriarch, and 
So this person could be in that position, that leadership position where they may have some really good advice or maybe even some motivation for you. This could be where the thinking woman comes in. Um, the emperor is predominantly a, a masculine energy, but we all have masculine and feminine in, um, in us. Okay. So, um, but whoever that is can really, um, they have some, a lot of experience, a lot of wisdom. They've had their fair share of ups and downs as well. It's not all, not all the path is always easy for them. Okay. And some Sometimes we can learn from other people's um, um, failures, other people's mistakes, okay, and where other people have, you know, uh, um, needed to course correct. So you may have that going on there. The King of Cups here and their advice from Spirit can also be somebody here that um, has some help or support for you. Okay, so um, certainly maybe more than one person around you, but that emperor really does have you taking control of your situation and, and you know, really getting things um, back on track, all right? Or you're achieving a certain element of success in your world as well. Let's get some more information. We've got the Seven of Cups, the High Priestess. See, trusting your intuition is going to be very important for you. We've got the Page of Wands as advice. The Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, blessings are the Ten of Pentacles. You see, we had the Seven of Pentacles, right? And they said success unfulfilled, right? Maybe you're only at the Seven, but you're wanting the Ten, okay? You're, you're like three quarters of the way to your goals, well, guess what? We do have that Ten of Pentacles coming in as a blessing. We have the Eight of Cups for a second time. Very interesting energy. Um, the energy at the bottom of this particular deck is the Four of Wands. Okay, so a higher level of commitment. This is also putting down a really good, strong, solid foundation. This is celebration, abundance flowing into your life. This is a certain element of success that's here. Okay, but it does bring in this celebratory kind of energy. The Four of Wands is known as the 1111 card. Okay. And you are certainly making some big, bold moves towards a goal, a wish, a dream. All right. So whatever are you wishing for, whatever are you wanting in your life, that 1111 uh, card there, make a wish, dream big. Okay. But the four of uh, wands can also just indicate that there may be some celebrations in the month ahead for you. Okay. Um, this could be where you meet some new people. Perhaps you're doing some business networking. Perhaps you're attending some sort of event of some sort. Okay. It can be like a wedding, um, you know, uh, graduations may also come in here as well, right? Graduations, eight of cups, right? Leaving a situation and you're forging a path in life. Okay. It doesn't matter how old you are, never too old to graduate. All right. But certainly something mm -hmm. very wonderful to celebrate some very jovial energy coming in there. Okay, but also coming in is the Seven of Cups. So there may be an element of hesitation that does come in here. The Seven of Cups can represent that you have some a lot of options to consider. And you're trying to figure out what is the right choice for me. I'm just not really sure. Sometimes we hesitate to choose um, an option or we ch we hesitate to choose the next course of action because we're sometimes really afraid of making a mistake. And that's where the fool comes in. Okay, lead with your heart and your soul. Trust your intuition and then just go for it. We can only ever make the, um, you know, we can only ever make decisions um, today based on the information that we have today. All right, we can certainly try our best and plan for the future, but there's, as the pandemic has shown us in the last couple of years, sometimes the best laid plans are torn apart by external forces. Okay, so all we can do is make a, make the right choice for ourselves how we are today with the information, the knowledge, the skills and experience that we have today, and just, you know, really trust that we're making the right choice. Okay, so, you know, there may be some something to, you may have some choices to make or some things to take under consideration. All right, so really kind of lead with your heart. And that's that King of, um, King of Cups energy, right? Lead with your heart and your soul. All right, the Seven of Cups can also be an energy of um, daydreaming or fantasy. Um, and so what are you dreaming about? What are you fantasizing about? Okay, it's time for you to turn your visions, okay, magician in the mirror into reality. What is it that you do? You have, do you have like a childhood dream that you want to revive? Okay, do you just have something that you want to do that's kind of fun and exciting? Or are you looking to make a change? Okay, you've got some sort of picture in your head. You've got some sort of vision. Okay, so now it's time for you to really turn that into reality. But part of your challenge may be staying open. 
Okay, sometimes, you know, like the seven of pentacles, we take that step back and, you know, we kind of need to be a little bit open to assess our situation properly, right? And the high priestess is a very open um, energy. I mean, open as in, I mean, secretive energy, okay, but open as in, in the flow, okay, in the flow of the universe, right? Um, you know, so part of that, that may be part of a challenge for you in the month ahead. And it's not surprising, we do have a little bit of turbulent um, uh, energy and some energy that's there kind of at cross purposes, okay? But the moon cycles here for you may actually represent a bit of a challenge for you also. Perhaps you may just be feeling a little bit out of balance um, in some areas of your world, okay? Um, especially, hmm, I'm going to say uh, probably especially in the middle of the month at the full moon, okay? I think you might have a little bit of challenge there, okay? Or maybe right before the before the beginning of the month with that new moon in Cancer may also kind of whew, be a little bit of a bumpy ride for you. But the high priestess, um, you know, very connected with that moon energy. So, but trust your intuition because this may be a challenge for you. Sometimes we second guess and we second, um, we, we, we know what we need to do. We know what our inner guidance system says, our inner compass. Okay. And sometimes we ignore that. Okay. We have trouble trusting that and trust may be very much a factor for you here, especially with that fool energy, right? We do need to trust ourselves. We need to trust the universe. We need to trust our choices. Okay. And that we're doing the right thing. Okay. So, you know, so sometimes, you know, we, our, our intuition is showing us the way and we ignore it sometimes. So, um, that may be a little bit of a challenge for you. A little challenge may also be keeping being calm. <laughs> okay. Um, especially with the topsy turvy energy that we've got coming in, or maybe you're feeling a little bit impatient, right? And it's kind of hard to take a calm, cool, collected approach at something when you are feeling a little bit impatient. But the high priestess is the keeper of secrets and mysteries as well. Okay. So there may be something that is revealed to you in the month ahead. And this represents a bit of a challenge. Okay. Sometimes um, we get really happy surprises that come in, but they still make us uncomfortable. Okay. So perhaps there's something that is revealed to you that does kind of, um, you know, either make you stop in your tracks and uh, take a time out, take a pause. Okay. Or maybe something that just kind of, whew, oh, okay. I wasn't quite expecting that so maybe just something that throws you off balance a little bit um it doesn't mean that there's anything really super negative okay but uh sometimes even good information can keep us off guard a little bit there as well but you may also be um needing to keep something to yourself okay um maybe you've got some plans you've got a strategy that you're you know um that you're figuring out and you may really be wanting to keep that to yourself, but it may be something really exciting. So your, your uh, challenge there may be to keep that quiet and not shout from the rooftops. Okay. Um, sometimes we do need to be a little bit of quiet about what we're doing before until we're ready to and make some announcement. All right. But trust your inner wisdom, though, here as well. There may be some information that you need to gather also. All right, the high priestess, keeper of secrets and mysteries, but also all of this knowledge, okay, that's within. So you've got a lot of knowledge within, okay, but you may also be missing a key piece of information, and that may be where that thinking woman comes in there for you. Your advice from spirit, go for it. The page of wands, okay, the page of wands, take action, okay, trust yourself, believe in yourself, okay, get yourself out there and make a move, okay, what are you looking for, what are you looking to improve in your life, what new, what um, new things do you want to start in your life, page of wands is really, you know, um, spirit saying to you, think about what you want, think about what you want to do, what path you want to take, and then leap into it, go for it, okay, seize the moment, seize the opportunity, and take some action, Okay, there's creativity and inspiration that are coming in here for you. All right, so perhaps a creative approach may be the order of the day for you. Okay, maybe there's um, some new things that you want to try. The Page of Wands is always very excited to try new things, to do something a little bit different, and to get out in the world and explore. And that could certainly be that um, advice from Spirit is exactly what they want you to do, right? Is to get out and explore to try something new and different, get out of your comfort zone. All right. And be open to, to new, new things, new people. Okay. New ways of doing things as well, but get excited. 
um, here, uh, Libra, okay? Get excited and just kind of go for things, okay? But also, um, <laughs> trust your intuition too because the Page of Wands is quite often um, a sign of manifestations coming to fruition. So there may be some sort of information coming in, some news, some opportunities, some doors opening for you. So be ready to take action. Okay. When you find those, all right. Um, or when they present themselves to you. Okay. Um, if you get, um, an invitation to go somewhere or attend an event or, uh, you know, maybe do some networking, seize that opportunity because you never know what you might find, who you might meet. Okay, you might just get some doors opening for you, okay? But, you know, there may be a lot of different improvements or new things that you want to start through the month ahead. Just pick one and go for it because ultimately you do have success that is coming in here with the 10 of pentacles. Okay, so this is an energy of abundance, of success, stability, and security in your career, your home, your finances, okay? Even, you know, really figuring out what you value in life here as well, okay? And, you know, sometimes, yep, yeah, you are maybe leveling up. You've got some sort of a level of achievement, okay, that's coming in here. So the 10 of pentacles can be, um, improvements in a lot of areas. Okay. It can be you hitting your stride, hitting your goal, feeling a sense of accomplishment, feeling a sense of security and stability in your world as well. You may get a helping hand somewhere along the way, right? And we do have the emperor energy coming in, but the 10 of pentacles is quite often the generational card, right? A whole bunch of, uh, you know, um, um, help and support from, you know, grandparents, uncles, mothers, fathers, siblings, okay, even the family dog, okay, can help you out in some way, okay, or all of these, all of these things, maybe you're spending some time with family in the month ahead, and that may actually also be really exciting for you as well, although maybe it doesn't come without its share of problems as well, right, so maybe you've just got it with that eight of cups, with that ten of pentacles, perhaps the blessing is to let bygones be bygones somewhere in your family unit, and wipe the slate clean and start fresh and sometimes we need to kind of sometimes we need to do that right people do grow people do evolve okay and people do recognize mistakes that they may have made okay so you could have that coming in there but you may have something that you inherit in the month ahead here also now yes it can be a monetary um, inheritance okay maybe you get some money some help somewhere along the way okay but you can all also inherit values information skills okay maybe you're maybe a family member is teaching you something new okay maybe you're um, getting that advice from somebody that you need or maybe someone's passing down some family traditions for you um, and it's all very positive whatever that's uh, whatever that is blossoming in your world so the ten of pentacles we love the ten of pentacles and again your overall outcome here for you we had a blessing is the eight of cups um, and eight of cups energy and then in your outcome is the eight of cups energy okay so I'm um, there really is a little bit of an opposing forces here I think for some of you you may break free away from a situation to go on a quest to start something new to try something different okay and that does require you um you know detaching emotionally from wherever you are right now because you know we do want to get to the ten of cups and if you're only at the eight of cups right so we do have like some progress that you're making through the month but maybe not quite um a hundred percent where you want to be for some of you you are getting to where you want to be with that ten of pentacles okay but that eight of cups coming out twice shows that some of you are um, you know, yes, leveling up, great. But I think some of you here also are looking to make some sort of change. Okay, so whether you're just changing how you're doing something, it's like, nope, you know what, I need to go back to the drawing board. Okay, so I'm just gonna, you know, put my previous projects aside. Okay, um, you know, however, I was doing something before, it's not working, I'm just gonna put it to the side here, I'm going to try something different. Okay, so you need to detach from what you were previously doing. Okay, but it can also be an emotional detachment, right? And you are um, heading out and you're trying th new things, meeting new people, maybe looking for a new job. Maybe you're um, on a quest for some personal development and enlightenment somewhere along the way there as well. Okay, and to do that, we do need to let something go. We do need to leave some things behind. So there may be a healing element that is coming in here for some of you for the month ahead as well. Okay, leaving the past behind you and only looking to the future. Okay, and when we do that, we're lighter and brighter. We end up in this fool energy, right? We're just, we're feeling 
like we've done something or we're feeling like we're looking at the world with fresh new eyes. All right. So you may be either again, detaching, um, detaching from your situation and going to find something new or again, leveling up. Okay. So onwards and upwards, whatever you're doing, you are very much in control. You're very much taking charge of your situation and you're getting things, the getting the ball rolling and taking action. So let's get a couple last messages here for you. Last messages here, please. The Eight of Cups also can make can be you making a conscious effort to um, really be positive, okay? Um, to be mindful of your thoughts and your feelings, especially with the Magician there with some manifestation energy, okay? Sometimes we, um, you know, we are a little bit more self-aware uh, of our thoughts and our feelings. So you could just be really trying to keep your feelings positive through the month as well. So we have number 25, I am intelligent. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. I am intelligent. Well, hello, thinking woman. There you go. Um, we also have here number 20, I am harmonious. You relate to others on an almost cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. I am harmonious. Maybe where that King of Cups energy comes in there for you. Last but not least, we have number 444. Very nice. And considering your overall outcome there does end up with that emperor number four. Okay. So four is stability, um, foundation, security, your work, your home. Okay. All of those things. So number four, 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 trust your journey, trust the way your life unfolds and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected. There you go leave that there for you. I hope there was something here that resonated with you in some level. Oh, and we've got the four of wands too. Five fours coming out there for you. Anyways, so hopefully there was something here that did resonate with you. Um, if so, please show my channel a little bit of love. Hit that like button there. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, we'll uh, play to the YouTube algorithm gods there. Okay, the more activity, the more uh, the, the uh, readings and the videos get seen. So anyways, so hit like on there. Hit subscribe if you do enjoy my readings there as well. But I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic month ahead and I'll see you guys later. Bye.